Package has come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Tomorrow, I'm finally going to take the 86 Dodge Ram to the 8th mile and get some ETs. Yesterday I got a package and I'll show you that in a minute, but what needs to happen today is I need to do a little work on the truck, get it ready for tomorrow. Um, got the trailer over there, got to get that one unloaded, get this one on the trailer, wash all three of them, hook the blue truck to the trailer, and we'll be, uh, we'll be ready. So let's get started on this thing. This came in the mail yesterday. It's some parts for Big Red to help out with tomorrow, hopefully. Here we go. It's uh, let me show you here. It's a set of 9010, well, adjustable drag shocks. So they go 90-10, 80-20, all that. But this is for hopefully getting us more traction. There you go. And you just you adjust them by turning them here. So let's get them on. Moving right along, you can see here that there's an index mark on the shock, which is that little mark there. And then there's an XF, F, and R on the side of the shock. And then this shows your settings to where you can uh, adjust it the way you want. We're going to go regular 9010. That should give us the most lift on the front of the truck and help weight transfer the most. So we're going to do that. One thing I did a couple weeks ago was rewire this thing. I took out, this used to have a lean burn computer here. And whenever I swapped the motor out a while ago, all the wiring was still here. And as you can see, I need to buy some more loom to cover it up. But all the wiring that was to the lean burn is now gone. I put a little mini torque starter on it, took the big starter off, you know, say five pounds or so. And just try to clean it up a little bit. Now we need to get these shocks off. I'm going to have to lift it up, get the top bolt off, and then lift it up so I can get the two bottom ones, drop the shocks out, put the new ones in. Shouldn't take long. Check all the tire pressure, maybe change the oil. That's it. Should be ready. GoPro. Oh. Yep, came right out. Alright, I got the red truck shocks on, and now I'm just going to go ahead and get that truck off. Got it hooked up, but I'm going to get the little Dakota off, swap trucks, and then I'm going to unhook again so I can take the truck and get cleaned. Also, I need the uh, use the blue truck to do some stuff today, but uh, let's get these things swapped out and get it ready.
Friday I got the truck loaded up. Now I'm just checking the tire pressure in the trailer because uh, you know you want this thing that it's got what 3,600 pounds on it or so. So I want to make sure it's towing properly and not eating up the tires. And it's got 24 pounds. This is a friend's trailer, so I don't want to tear up anything. Plus, you want it to tow properly. Got the big part done. I got the truck loaded. So now I'm going to head to the uh, car wash gas station and I'm gonna get some ethanol free 93 octane from one store and then I'm gonna fill up the uh, the tank in this truck also big wheels big wheels all right so I just came down to the far south side of Tallahassee because uh, this Sunoco here has race gas and ethanol free 93 so uh, red trucks only running about uh, nine and a quarter nine and a half to one compression so I'm just gonna get some 93 ethanol free which I may or may not use because the truck's got a little bit of gas in it now so I'm gonna get a few gallons of that more big rims Wait while we verify your membership. Welcome to our car wash. To get, please enter the five digit code you received when you purchased your car wash. If you do not have a You are now ready to enter the car wash. Please proceed by following the directions on the signs ahead. And thank you again for your car wash purchase. Got a full tank of gas in the truck for tomorrow so that. We don't have to stop on the way. And I selected the car wash option. Oh yeah. I'm just headed back to hook the trailer back up so in the morning we'll be ready to go there's been uh, over the past few months after the motor went in there's been little things that stopped me from going racing before the uh, one thing was traction I had to put a set of tires on it once I got the tires then uh, actually the drive shaft bent I guess uh, the, the factory drive shafts aren't that strong so I had to get a drive shaft made for it and I went ahead and put those drag shots on today. So maybe that's gonna take care of the, the traction issue. That's the only problem I foresee happening is not being able to get traction. But hopefully all works out. Air the tires down a little bit and you know, track should be good and sticky. I do have an old video called Big Red Overview. So if you don't know the truck, check that out. I'll put a link um, so you can click on it and check out what's in the truck. In the comments, you guys can tell me what you think it's going to run. It is the eighth mile, so keep that in mind. The truck's actually running really good right now. I'm going to go ahead and take a jet kit with me for the carburetor and also a timing light. Sorry about that. So anyway, I'm going to take a jet kit and a timing light and uh, might do a little tuning, uh, if any. I don't know. So yeah, I'm excited and uh, I'll, get, I'll get some footage. I've got two GoPros I can take and get some good footage hopefully. Once again, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.